Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got new from Maya Manudhanya. Nice name, Manudhanya. Very good. Uh, hey Cal, can you make a vid teaching all the rookies like me how to recover from PIO? What a really good thing. So let's jump into DCS first and find out what PIO is. PIO, Pilot Induced oscillation is a very normal problem that all pilots have to work through as they develop their muscle memory. It is a overreaction of the feedback loop between, uh, it's a continuous feedback loop between their brain and their stick hand. This feedback loop is of course known as muscle memory. Muscle memory is something you just develop, not just in aircraft, but everything, uh, cooking, running, jumping, any kind of action you do, you will develop muscle memory, you will develop that feedback loop. And it's completely natural until that feedback loop is, is properly developed for overreaction. So I will go and do some air-to-air -air refueling. And what we'll see is the tanker moving up slightly. In that case, my brain will tell me, okay, the tanker is moving up and it will signal my hand, this is all subconscious, all automatically, to move aft to chase the tanker. But until it's learned exactly how much I need to move my hand, it will always overcompensate. So I'll move up more than I need to. And then because I'm moving up, the tanker will essentially move down relatively. And so my brain will automatically make my stick hand move forward to chase it down but it'll do it too much again and you get this growing oscillation imagine a sine wave that's expanding getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until boom something goes critically wrong that's pio it's perfectly normal you'll all have it everyone is born with it until your muscle memory is complete or at least at a certain stage where pio won't bug you anymore and what I'll do is I'll try flying with my left hand. I have zero muscle memory in my left hand with regards to controlling the stick. So we should see some natural PIO happen. Okay, valued viewers, I know you can't see me, but I've now swapped my control. Oh, God, that's horrible. So I've now got my, this is the first time I've done this. So I've got my left hand on the stick, on the on the stick, and I've got my right hand on the thrust. The only problem is it's like a whole different person. This is going to be horrendous. Stick. And I've got no feedback loop. I've got no muscle memory settled in here. So this is going to be learning on the fly. And you're going to see the most horrendous PIO. Are you ready, RC? I'm pausing yeah. now. Oh, that was a thrust on that hand. Oh, every God. This is must have, this must be what it feels like to be new, RC. Oh, it's so... <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. I would never take this game up again if it felt like this. It's so horrible. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. So when you guys come and join play for the first time, it must feel like this. How do you live with yourselves? It's horrendous. I'm flying the best I can in formation at the moment, by the way. Actually, I think, I know it's going to sound like an excuse, I think it's actually harder because we're trained with right hand because I'm trying to fly the plane the stick with my thrust thing and I'm trying to do my throttle with the left stick. Oh, yeah. Which is why so it's not really a, a proper representation because it's literally... Oh, it's giving me the basket. Jeez, it's a, such an interesting test this is. I've got no fine control at all of my hand on the left. I'm moving it all like a newbie, like inches at a time, rather than, you know, fractions of millimetres. So interesting. Okay, I am getting back to the tanker. It's really hard. Again, if I want to speed up, I'm still going forward on the wrong stick. Where's my, my air brake? I don't even know if I have an air brake. I do. You're just going to move out <laughs> Nothing happened. It gave me this basket, so you may have to ask again. I am getting on a basket, I can tell you that right now, I'll okay. see. I fucking just try and get with this tanker roughly in formation i'm going to show you try and watch you. you're going to have to avoid me i can't avoid oh, you i can't even get in the same ballpark as this right power okay. forward cool. i can see why people get so angry while trying to do this right i'm getting the hang of this now i'm starting to build up you can see already i've got a lot better my muscle memory is starting to develop now and the problem we're going to get is when we get close is that i'm going to start making fine adjustments up down left right up down left right and because of that feedback loop ah i haven't got enough brain power left to talk i'm afraid because that feedback loop is simply not being developed yet, I'm going to overcorrect up and down. Now using 100% brain power, pretty much, which isn't very much, I know, but. Ah. 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 Massive overcorrections I'm making. Horrible Thanks experiment, this is. We should do left handed battles. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, oh, no motor control. There's no motor control here, RC. There's just no motor control. Ah, there. That was PIO. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. And that yeah, was yeah. I, that was PIO. I'm just pause it there, RC. That's severe. It took a while to get there. Uh, that was the best I could do. Now you saw that. You see that PIO where I corrected up a little bit. Then I had to overcorrect down. Then overcorrect up. Then I, and that was all in my brain. There, you know, there's nothing conscious in there and each time it amplitudes 50 percent or whatever and you get into that okay so you have to learn a recognize when peos pio is happening and you just know after a while if that tanker starts to bounce up and down or left and right you know that's pio at play second we have to we have to dampen it uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back because i hate playing with left hand as it turns out <sighs> just put my controls back so we've got now everything back where it should be where is everyone so, so there are two techniques that I teach when I'm teaching guys to formation fly and to air-to-air -air refuel to avoid PIO. The one is the classic, of course, which is just to back off. So, let me... So, the first thing is spotting PIO. We're about to go and spot it. It must be so hard. I can fly... Because everything here is subconscious now. I can sit and talk. I can sit and read and refuel now. I've done this so many times. The feedback loop is so well imprinted in my neurons or whatever it is that I could sit and do this and talk about anything. Do you want to talk about chess, RC? What is your favourite chess move if you were trying to get the Queen of Spades? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, got, I actually got PIO in my right hand. <laughs> I just didn't have enough brain power. Um, so sorry about that. I was being a bit of a silly boy. But Bishop to Queen. Bishop eight. to Queen. Roger. Okay, so you spot when PIO is starting to happen. So that's an up and a, usually up and down, but it can be left and right as well. Up and a down and an up and a down and a, there. And the first thing and easiest thing to do is just back off. So air brake on, back off and reset. And that has the effect of I don't know how this works, but it resets your brain. Okay, it gets you out of the PIO. So you've got to you've got to kind of click your fingers, snap your brain out of it, start again from all the way back here. Okay, um, and that just uh, uh, if you like resets the brain back into a concentrating mode, gets rid of your PIO. Uh, the next thing is self-dampening, which is the most important thing. Um, now, PIO will go away on its own. Uh, you don't have to treat it like an infection. Once you've developed enough muscle memory feedback, you will, it will just go away. But if you're on expedite, then this is what I call dampening. So let's get back in here. Okay, so we're going for this basket, and we're going to look up and down. Okay, I've recognized PIOs going on. And the problem is the amount of input that's going into my stick hand is growing so all I've got to do when I recognize PIO is cut my movements by about 50% depends how bad your PIO is so if you think you need to go down subconsciously semi subconsciously then move down only half as much as you think you need to then if you think you need to go up move up only half as much as you think you need to if you need to put some throttle on because he's moving away put only half the throttle that you need that has a sense of dampening everything down so I'm going to deliberately try and get into PIO I'm going to make a grab for the basket that will usually do it because it pushes you out of your muscle memory your memory your muscle has no memory of how to handle that there okay now I'm going to start dampening everything down so the, and you see immediately dampened it okay just like the dampers on a car it just removes some energy from what's going on and allows you to get back in, in tow with things. Let's try that again. Again, I've got no real way of showing this to you. You just have to take my word for it. So, okay, we're going to make a snatch for the bag. Lots of muscle memory, feedback loop. Okay, dampen. Okay, only go down as there. Dampened it, you see? And that's the best way I can describe it. That's all I teach for it, really, and just patience. Anything you want to add to that idea, RC? No, that's right so that's it really pio is normal it is frustrating but you stick with it i had to go through my year of pio or whatever eventually your muscle memory will just take over hope that's going to be useful to some of you and see you later